Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine with a tropical update. Of course, we're still talking about Hurricane Lee out in the Atlantic Ocean. And it's no surprise we are hearing a lot of talk about the tropics this time of year. As we head into mid-September, that correlates with the peak of the Atlantic hurricane and tropical storm activity. And you can see it continues to stay pretty busy as we head through October, but definitely on a downward swing and then wrapping up the hurricane season as we head through November. All right, here's what we have out there now here is Hurricane Lee surprisingly slow mover still and then here is Hurricane Margo which will just stay out here and play over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Then we've got a couple of tropical waves off the west coast of Africa uh, that we'll likely probably have to watch for next week. Let's get back to uh, what is again Hurricane Lee here at a category three strength with 115 mile per hour winds uh, still circulating here north of the Virgin Islands, northeast of the Dominican Republic and well to the east of the Bahamas is only moving at seven miles per hour. Now let's go ahead with the official track from the National Hurricane Center. And I will say since we've been talking about this since last week, the storm has been following the model guidance, especially the consensus of the spaghetti plots pretty closely. But this is the official track from the National Hurricane Center, still a major category three hurricane way away from the coast of the United States through midweek. So this is through Wednesday. Let's go to Friday and it's still off to the east of the mid Atlantic coast to off of the east of the Carolinas, uh, hundreds of miles off to the east of the east coast of the United States. Doesn't mean there's not going to be impacts. Uh, there will be some big waves and some rough surf, riptides, all that. Uh, notice we're down to a category two hurricane, no longer a major hurricane on Friday. Where does it go after that? That's where it gets a little more interesting because uh, the weather model data does take a pretty close to Cape Cod, Boston, New England. We'll have to watch out for some gusty winds, but at the same time, the good news with that, we're down to category one strength hurricane. So weakening as it picks up speed as we head into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Nonetheless, thankfully, does not look like a direct hit. You can see the consensus of the weather models keeping it still to the east of New England, but slight chance there could be some uh, bigger impacts there as we head into the weekend. And also notice the track keeps it just to the west of Bermuda as well. Again, we are just getting into the middle of the peak of hurricane season, so I'm sure there'll be some more storms that we'll have to track and talk about and watch closely over the next couple of weeks.